Most of my craziest projects start off with a simple idea. Um, in this case, to photograph two people planting emergency trees because the air had gotten so polluted. I pitched the idea to the Wasteland Warriors, this post-apocalyptic group out of Germany. They were the perfect subjects with mind-blowing costumes made out of recycled garbage. As we chatted, the concept started growing and changing. What difference would a single tree make anyways? The little bit of oxygen that it generated would need to be harvested, which knowing humans would inevitably lead it to also being something bottled and sold. Our chats led to new designs with props and costumes galore until eventually the only thing left to do was to find the perfect location. The dirtiest energy source that exists today is coal, generating massive amounts of smog and CO2. In a future where oxygen is bought and sold, the culprit would probably be the same. While hunting for coal mines close by, we eventually came across Ferropolis, which had been converted into a museum with excavators and dredgers still intact. And just like that, we now had a new plan to capture three hero images. What I've always loved most about photography is not the composition, lighting, or even capturing that perfect frame, but rather its ability to bring people together from all different walks of life. When people come on my sets, it doesn't matter if they're rich or poor, experienced or not, they all become critical parts of this wonderful team coming together to create something that just didn't exist before. Embarking on projects like this is always terrifying. The idea that I might screw up and disappoint all of the volunteers never goes away. But it is nothing compared to the fear of feeling helpless in a world that is spiraling out of control. I will be the first to admit that a photo shoot can't change the world, but I hope that it can draw attention to an important issue. I may be just one guy that believes that everyone from a child to a president deserves clean air, but this project has shown me that I'm not alone. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. There's a part one and a part two where you can learn more about how this whole thing came together. And last but not least, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys around next time.